Hey what's up guys, um, so firstly I would like to say um, go ahead and follow my Instagram, uh, just uh, basically just click the link down below in the description and I'll take you either to my Instagram or to my YouTube channel and then just go to the about section and just click on Instagram and then it should put you on and just follow me on there because this, this is what I just posted, now this this makes a lot of sense because I'll, I'll just read it. And then, and then I'll show you the picture now. The reason why I know this is because just look at the picture. Blood of the Dead remake, Alpha Mega remake, and classified remake, well remaster. By the way, the Alpha Four is going to change the timeline again. It will, but not just timeline, change history. So it's changing the entire course of history. Literally, it's changing the Great War in zombies. It's changing the zombies' Great War. And literally, it's going to be as if that great war never even happened. Anyway, in DLC 4, we will post the existence of Element 115, and because of this, the beings who created this, that being the Shadow Man Dirt's Money, as well as like Keepers and our Pathkins and that, will be erased from existence, just like Element 115. So in DLC 4, characters will be sent back in time once again to the Age of Premise, and they'll remember everything. However, those who participated in the great war will have no memory of, of what just happened. And I put it's twenty nineteen means get smarter because we do I mean like I feel like I'm probably just gonna ask one say like we're just retarded at this point, we are retarded as fuck. And to be honest, it's our fault that we are. Like like we're just getting dumb and dumber. Oh yeah, this way is what happened the other day in that. I like uh I grace myself. Ha uh, yeah, the, the these are the st stuff I grew up watching on the left now, these are the holes I grew up watching. Mainly Texas Chainsaw, which is literally right by me. This is my 11,000 mod player. And that 1,000 zombies. So, yeah. But anyway, now, um, that's it for that. Let me just go to this. So, yeah. Um, it, I, I've got a video that coming out later today now about, like, the, um, the theory behind that, which... I mean, for, for, firstly, I would like to say that that was written so professionally. Yeah, that's what, professionally. Yeah, that's written so professionally. And I really think that you guys are really going to enjoy the video later. Because it's, it's to do with what happened with the timeline of Buzzard of Dead. Because Buzzard of Dead changed the timeline. What happened after Origins. Because if you don't know. Well, after the, the, basically, now, I'll, I'll just say this. The end cutscene after, so that the... the um, what happens after Origins is Grog Crowby, the Easter for that, and then the gift trailer for Revelations, and then the actual Revelations, and then, no, intro and, and then cutscene is what takes place after Origins. Literally, the cutscenes take place in that order, which makes sense, because we send, well, you know, they go down to the basement, they meet the younger version, blah, 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 plus the gift, which we see after Origins. So, when we see the gift now, we, we do see Samantha and all that down there in the basement. Samantha and Eddie, that we need the kid, so... Yeah, and then basically because of um, because of what happened, Buzz of Dead, the beginning and the end, so the beginning of the new timeline and the um, the beginning of the new timeline and the changing of the old timeline. They're probably in ways from the gifts and basically because of that, because of making that, and then of course because Call of the Dead that's and the end of Call of the Dead that we uh we purge the element one five, so we get rid of it, we destroy it, and therefore gets away from existence. Because of that, um, all of the timeline changes up to now don't happen. Because at the moment, we don't we don't need to do any we don't need to like reset the timeline we don't have to do anything so therefore our characters get reset back into the Great War but then then the Great War doesn't happen because there's no element one five and therefore there's no war breaking out between the humans and the Republicans and the zombies and because of that basically the element one five is erased and of course after element gets erased Dr. Ponty and Shadow Man basically cease to exist because they were the makers who done it so basically the people basically the two beings. Who, who are gods, they fuck themselves in the arsehole and yeah, they both get back from existence. That's basically the video for later, but I just thought, I just thought I'd just sum up in this video because why not? That's what happens and that's why, um, that's why Alpha Mega is the beginning and the end. The beginning, the intro cutscene shows well about the beginning of the Great War and of course the ending cutscene shows the end of the Great War, the end of what's going to happen with Dr. Monty. So, yeah. I now you know why I put that. We need to get smarter because 
Well, if you know a lot about, if you know everything about what happened when you change the timeline, a event in history that's a fixed point, for example. Base, uh, I'll give an example. So, of course, Samantha Maxis, her dad died, and because of because he comes out, he would be rotten, like he was literally rotten to death or something like that, so he's probably just a corpse now with nothing left except for his teeth, because that's the only part of your body that remains after death. Your skin goes, your organs your organs get eaten out by spiders and all that. In a uh, six feet um in a six feet grave. Anyway, that's besides the point, but the only thing that can bring him back is the animal elemental shard. Which is the one that we get in of course Alpha Mega and because of that of course we get sent back in time and of course her father is still dead because that's a fixed point and nothing can change that. And because of well what what Doctor Monty did, he killed the other timeline version of Doctor Maxis, not her father, the one from a different universe, because he killed him, and Doctor Monty will be erased from existence, and that that right there will never happen. It'll be as if that never even happened. So therefore, he uh, he would have never met that ghost man. He would have ne never met the old Miss and Primus group. He would never have met them at all. And because of that, that's that's basically literally just the start of the zombies timeline. Basically now, now because we ended the loop in Blood of the Dead. We, we, we then ended the full entire storyline, then, then we get sent back just to make a new timeline of events that, that are unchangeable. So that's, that's why the characters will be able to remember everything. Because whenever you change, you yourself change your timeline, only you know what the previous, the previous timeline actually had. Except, except of course, M15 will be purged and therefore the, um, yeah, even ripped off New Dome Blood of the Dead, he'll, he'll be gone forever. He'll still be dead because, of course, he had to break the he had to break the loop in order to actually break the timeline for the second time. So, yeah, that's basically it for this. Yeah, um, I know that was a breather, and that's, that's basically the video I was going to post later, but I was like, fuck it, I'll just say in this video. So, hey guys, if you guys really enjoyed this video, then please drop a like, drop a comment down below about this, about this. This is just a theory, but this is how I believe this will probably, this is how I believe it will play out in DLC 4. And if that happens, don't forget, we have just over a month left till DLC 4 comes out. So, when that happens, I will showcase the easter egg and I'll say, told you so. Because we know that uh, it's, we need to destroy element 1-5 in order to kill Dr. Monty. But then if you kill him, you're also killing the other man because they're both they're both beings and that they're both gods. And the only way to go a god is to change the timeline. That's the only way to do it. Trust me, I know. Anyway, um anyway. Yeah, so I know everything about time travel and timeline changes and of course when when you whenever you go back in time and that uh, whenever you go back in time basically I'll link it I'll link a video in the description below and I've got a comment and that on there. Like that's to do with timeline changes and basically let's just say I know I know what would happen if a timeline changes. Anyway guys, I'm just gonna uh you know, just peace off and just yeah, I guess I'll speak to you later today in a stream or video. Whichever video comes out first, stream whichever one comes out first. And yeah guys if you if you if you enjoyed this theory and again yes, this is just a theory of mine that could play out and I do see a high possibility of this actually happening a 99% chance of this happening or probably not need to make it fair but yeah if if you enjoyed this theory and I drop a like if you didn't then drop a dislike drop a comment down below uh if if this made sense to you I know that this didn't make sense trust me it took me like five six tries to do but if you really think about it in your mind, if you go back to all of the cutscenes, you go back to Origins, and then after Origins, you go to the um, Grow Crofy Easter egg cutscene, and you go to the Gifts cutscene, then you go to Revelations intro and ending cutscene, and then you go to Alpha Mega. Just, just, just look at what happens after Origins, and literally, my theory is correct. And, like, I would say my theory, 74, 75% is correct. Have a hundred percent. Anyway, guys, I'm just gonna take care and just yeah. See you guys later on in a future video. Well, guys, take care and peace out.